No. Down we go. So far, has not really been worth it, but, you know, it's nice stroll down, down memory lane. Remember when we came up on this village and everybody was dead and then we were attacked by, by the fierce creatures. I know nobody on YouTube will ever know, because I, I never, I never, uh, I never talk about <laughs> what I'm responding to in chat. People watching on YouTube, Craig says something dumb and I responded to it. There's your, there's your context. Can I not go this way? I really cannot go this way. Wow. All right. So, is there a quick way out of here? No, there's not. There's no quick way out of here. Uh, okay, it's fine. Oh my god. Why isn't there like a magic? door around here. Every other random place has a magic door. You telling me this village that used to be here doesn't have a magic door? It's fine. We'll just run across the entire countryside. Come on, boy. We're not stopping. We're not stopping until we get to the uh, the boat. Until we get to the boot. Is this a thing that I can look at? Or anything up here? No, there's probably some loot up here, but... Not anymore! <laughs> A second I thought uh, I thought I might have lost boy but no he's right behind me we're back here yeah again we are <laughs> mind the skeletons uh here We're still not really back, but it's fine. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going. Listen, if you would put more friggin' magic doors around, I don't know if it's you putting them there or what. Someone needed to put more magic doors around here. Uh, I'm gonna go to, um, I guess Isle of Death. Either of these is fine. I just want to get back onto the water. Uh, no, actually, we'll go to here. Because we need to finish this quest. I keep on forgetting about it. Come on, boy. Have I have I exhausted Mimir's uh, dialogue, M M Man's dialogue? 
What if I exhausted it? Does he have no more tales to tell? Hold all of his tales. Kind of famous. Well, you're half right. Whatever did you hear? That you made Thor's hammer. Oh, yes, we did do that. Mjolnir put us on the map. It was a legendary run. Gods and kings knew our brand. We really did make quite a team. So what happened? Oh, well, that's a long story. Things happened that made it difficult to. Find that certain spark, you know? Inspiration is a fickle mistress. Huh? Oh, enough distractions. You see the mess I have to clean up around here? I mean, it's your mess. Uh, this is the way to the boat, right? I just want to know. No, we're not going to the boat. We're going to the storeroom. That's right. God, I'm... I'm it's... You know it must be late when I when I say I want to go somewhere and then I go towards that place and then I'm like, where am I going? It's fine, there might be other things around the storeroom anyway, but most of you just want to go here and uh Got him. I give him what for. And I will. I will give him what for, and not because you told me, Mamir. Because I want to. Come on. Inside. In we go. Eternal frost, unmeltable ice, and the furthest, furthest reaches of hell used to upgrade pummels with frost damage effects. Nice. Hmm. I have runic mastery. Taking damage from a runic or during a runic attack reduces damage taken by 15%. That's not bad. I do take damage from runic attacks quite a bit. I mean, you know, because I'm doing the attack and it like hits me as I'm doing it. Uh, I assume I just want to go straight ahead. That's what I said, giant nerd guy. I said that. What are right. you fools doing back here? Come to pill for my boots and small clothes. Uh, your son's dead. We found your son. Good news. <laughs> Good he, news. He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? He die fighting? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. <sighs> he's a backstabbing bastard, but... Knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. Hi. We did a good thing. Bonus to all stats. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people, even the dead ones. <laughs> so much like your mother. All right, let's equip that because that seems like it's going to be pretty, pretty nice. We're we gonna. Probably get rid of this one. I mean, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. I have so much goddamn XP and nothing to spend it on. I need to open those last uh, slots, but I need 
Hardened steel for uh, for these for boy. And I know I need more uh, story progress. I assume for these. Kratos never died. I mean, he did die once, but then he like crawled his way up out of out of um, Hades, literally. But no, Kratos isn't like a zombie or anything. That's just um places I've been to. All right, well we're done here. Now we want to go to the lake and try to find a way into Brock's hidey hole. You heard me. Go. Anything else you want to say to me? No. Can I? Ready and ready. Do I need to buy a? Uh... Yeah. Um. I don't know. The Berserker Stone is kind of nice because I can immediately use um. Rage mode, which does give me health. But. I think I'd rather just have health. Okay. By heavy runic attack for axe. Uh, upgrade. I can't upgrade this. I can't upgrade this. I can't upgrade this. I can upgrade this, although I don't know why I would do that because I'm not even wearing it right now. I can't upgrade anything that I'm wearing that I'm using right now. I can upgrade this. Yeah, that's the one I keep on thinking like maybe I'll upgrade, but then I kind of don't. So. Sure that'll come in handy. <laughs> Will it though? Alright. Off we go. Let's go to um that doesn't really matter. Either here or Isle of Death. We just want some place that's close to water. Oh, we missed the gateway. We'll do Brock's thing, or at least we'll find it at the very least, and uh, and then we'll probably wrap up tonight's stream. I'm like, I'm like zonking out practically. I don't know how streamers can stream for like eight hours. Well, they they start earlier is why they start like in the morning or the afternoon. I always start at night. Plus, they take breaks. Like, <laughs> I never take a break. I really should take a break. I really should take breaks. Um. Here and there, but we okay. need the rest of the language disc. All right. I never take breaks. I really should take a break after like two hours. Like I usually stream for around four-ish hours, depending. Start taking like a fifteen-minute break. Not tonight. All right, we're on the water again. We want to go this way. In fact, I think this is where we want to go, like right here. 
You're familiar with the tale of Skoll and Hotty, bringers of day and night. Oh yeah, the wolf giants. Aye. They were born of the archwolf Hroth Whitnir, a great nemesis of the Aesir gods. Odin captured them as pups and kept them in the kennels of Asgard to hold his foe at bay. But when the sun and moon grew mutinous and stood still, Odin put Skoll and Hotty to use. With his ancient magics, he cast the wolves to the heavens, and they began their chase. And long shall they chase, but not endlessly. For it is foretold that someday Skoll and Hotty will catch and devour their prey. And that day shall be Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. But Ragnarok is supposed to be Odin's doom, isn't it? Why would he set the wolves loose if it fulfills the prophecy? Precisely the question, lad. It's always about control. The wolves determine when Ragnarok begins, and now he controls the wolves. A battle fought on his timetable is a battle he better stands to win. Okay. Weird, uh... Lighting changes in here, but that's fine. It happens. Isn't Brock supposed to meet us out here somewhere? Loots! Come on, boy. You first, in case it's a trap. <laughs> I used that joke before, and I'm going to use it again. There's Brock. Uh, nothing going on. Well, looky who decided to show. Listen, we had to do stuff, and the doors didn't even work. Really, you shouldn't have given us this quest if you weren't going to fix the doors back then. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, Brock. It's talking to me. It's Unbari. Ha! Knew it. He says he went to the Velander mines to observe his mistake, but then the Soul Eater attacked, so as he was being ripped apart, he cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And then he... What about all his stuff? Uh, huh? Anvari had a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools, and one beaut of a hammer. He make mention of it still in there? Uh, you're upsetting him. Your point? If I'm gonna, like, you get these guys better tools, with you and go have a look -see. they need to use them you for find me. This hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. <laughs> Kratos is like... <sighs> hey now, don't go forgetting your entry stone. Fine. Rolling his eyes so hard. And Vary isn't happy about us taking his stuff. I do not care. Honestly, he can't use his stuff anyway, so. Tell him that. I mean, he's a ring now. That's his life now. That's his life forever. Unless the ring is destroyed. You could cast it into the fires of Mount Doom, but. That would basically be killing him. Or possibly transferring his consciousness to the volcano. Mm. 
that it? Nope, there's one more. Is that it? Okay. Well, there's loots back there. There's healths right there. There's an elevator over there, or maybe it's just a thing for this door. There's a place to go up there. And there's things to do up here. Oh my god. Invari says this dwarf was part of his crew. That he died because of his mistakes. He sounds... sad. The ring's grief is of little importance, boy. <laughs> also, watch out. Watch out below. Heads up. As they say. Oh, look, there's loot over there. All right, let's get the loot. It's going to be like 200 hack silver, but it's fine. I could, you know, uh, eventually I'm going to have to buy something like super expensive, I bet. And then I'm going to be sorry I didn't pick up every bit of loot that I could. Oh, he did not like that. He's warning us not to go down there. Stop listening to the ring, boy. It cannot be trusted. Okay. Oh, I can do this. Dark elves. There we go. And you're dead. No. No. Okay. Ow, right in my face. I still would like to know how to get over here. Boy, can you, like, climb over here or something? No, it looks like there's... Gonna be like a... Like a little cheeky... Cheeky hidden tunnel over here. Alright, well, let's go down here. Um, what if I just want to like jump down over here? Maybe I need to climb up from something. I just need to go down further. Oh, I just need to go over here. Gotta get that loot. Gotta figure it out. Gotta figure out loot puzzle so I can get loot. Solid steel, which I just honestly do not need any of right now, but it's fine. What do you think Kratos puts all of the extra like little baggies that he gets? Because all the loot comes in little baggies. I mean, they're nice. They're nice bags. They'd be good for uh, for like dice bags. Maybe he sells them for some extra hack silver. Well, shoot them then. Silence that ring, boy. I don't know how. Okay, 
I mean, if you really want to give that much thought to Kratos' butt, you're welcome to Craig and, and Giant Nerd Guy, but... No, oh, Kratos doesn't really do it for me. I mean, he's big and strong, but... I mean, he doesn't eat, though, Giant Nerd Guy. That's been my entire point. He doesn't even eat, Giant Nerd Guy. He, he, he went out. We went out to get some food. And we never did get any. We have gotten no food. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Another map. And we'll find something useful here. <laughs> Apparently there's loot near Thor. Okay, well, good to know. Let's open this up. There we are. But then we're actually going to go back down this way. For a second, I thought we lost, uh, we lost boy. Uh, how am I on... yeah, I could use some rage. I could... I could do with having more rage. This almost feels like a blast from the past, like using only my axe for this stuff. A soul And a traveler. Guard up. Ball up. I mean, guard up. You guys are just like hanging out here. Like, look at this guy. He's just like, oh man. Ready. Today was kind of rough. I just need to get off my feet. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> well, the other guy is up, but that's okay. This guy is almost dead. Ow. There you go. Try not to hit the uh, the other guy. Get away from him, so I don't accidentally hit him. Let's get this loot, and then let's, uh... A dead soul oh, he's What's dead? Soul are even doing here? Oh, I was gonna wake him up, but, uh... What do you mean it's your fault? Boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough for me to ignore. Uh... Over this way. See. Let's go around it looks like. Oh. Here there be loot. Alright, 
And then I can get over across here and get in this chest. He says this chest will trigger a bunch of traps. Uh, that's fine. I don't mind. I want the loot. I see no traps. 25% resistance so to all status effects. Cool. There's loot over there. Yeah. There's loot over there too. Oh god. Okay. Let's go get the loot. Let's go get the loot. Let's go get it. Loot right here. And loot up here. Continue on. Kratos is racist against not just rings, but all jewelry. It's a flaw in an otherwise perfect uh, character. Hi! <laughs> I'm glad that uh, Dark Elves are, like, weak against uh, lightning. It's pretty great. Yeah, just kill him. Labor complete. Dark Elves downfall. Today really is the the twelve labors of, of Kratos. Like I'm completing a lot of uh, a lot of labors here. <laughs> I don't think that elf actually wanted to talk though. I I have doubts that the elf actually wanted to talk. But, I mean, it's possible. It is possible. But extremely doubtful. And now I'll never know. <laughs> Twelve labors of Kratulis. Well, I can do that, but I don't know why I would want to. Uh... You having trouble over there? Ah! says his workshop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking ring. I mean, if you want to talk to a guy like Kratos, I'm not sure popping up right in front of him after he's already been, like, attacked a bunch of times is really the way to go. I'm just saying... It does not seem smart to me. Whee! All the Dark Elves so far have been very aggro to me, so... You know what? Screw them. Screw them all. Oops. Wrong way. The wrong thing. See, this guy definitely had things to say, but then he immediately attacked me, so... Yeah, giant nerd guy found out that Kratos was actually in uh, God of War 3. Voiced by the... Um, Famous and possibly extremely insane Kevin Sorbo. Oh my god. You... God, the blindness is the worst in this. Where is he? There you are. Shoot this guy. How dare you avoid that? Oh, 
Jesus Christ. Kill these guys, boy. Use your, um, yeah, there you go. Use your wolves. Yeah, get him. You want to fly? I'll make it fly. Or not. That's fine. That's fine, too. Like these guys play. <laughs> Did I finally kill that guy? Ugh. Actually, kind of hard. I mean, not like that hard, but. Ooh, a Jir's protection epic talisman create a small defensive zone that prevents Kratos' attacks from being interrupted, and reduce the amount of damage he takes when upgraded. It restores a small amount of health as well. That's not bad. That ain't a bad one. I think I like my time slow better, and my uh, and my health one probably second best. Boy. Father, please just listen. Invari's crew did something bad here. He's glad you destroyed his life, and he's sorry you kept trying to trick us. His hammer is just through this gate. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I don't know if, if Hercules, I mean, all, all the gods and even all the demigods were assholes to some extent, but Hercules is usually portrayed as like more of a jovial fellow, even if he does do some asshole things sometimes. Um, definitely yeah. not the same kind of, of rage yes, god sir. as uh, Kratos. Removing an ancient soul and domesticating it as a beast of burden was surprisingly easy. They followed my every command and appeared to possess no free will, sense of self-preservation, or even hunger. Well, not until it turned poor Lid into ashes. Not even his soul remained. A lack of their own must be what drives them to immolate the souls of others. My soul eaters are an abomination. Several were sent to Muspelheim at the request of Surtur. What he will use them for, I shudder to consider. Another... To Motsig Motsognir at Konungsgard, that fool can burn for all I care. My immediate concern is the dwarves of the Volander Mines. Velander Mines, sorry, because that's the apparently the way you pronounce the O with the umlauts. I pray I am not too late to undo my mistake. Is this it? <laughs> hmm. This is a fine hammer. Hammer of the Dwarven Blacksmith. Says thank you. All right. Well, there's still more loot to be had, though. Boy, we're not leaving just yet. Oh, I think it's just this. Boy, you better watch out. Can we keep him? <laughs> we will talk to the blue one. God, I didn't think this was a jump scare a horror game. All right, we're done here. I do believe in here we are done. The horror game for everyone who isn't Kratos. That's, that's pretty true. I'm not. I'm not stuck in here with the monsters. The monsters are stuck inside here with me. You two find that hammer, or you're too busy looting every keyhole and cranny. I mean, we did loot a lot, but here, the alchemist hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah, Anvari always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. 
You don't want it? Father, we can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. <sighs> Fine. So long as he proves his worth. And very soul, epic enchantment. Very it's high perk soft, activation. Yeah. It's a grant well, health burst on any successful well. runic attack kill. Yeah, it seems a little uh situational, but So let me see if I have this right. You and Sindri made me own here. Yep. And then Thor used it to kill a lot of people. Your damn point? It just seems like you're mad at each other about it, instead of being mad at Thor. Kid, I like you. But you don't begin to appreciate the complexities what developed between family. You don't hear me lecturing your old man how he ought to be raising you. And believe me, there's plenty different people. Sorry, Brock. He's trying to help. You're making me angry, Brock. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stop because Brock has made me so angry that I can no longer go on tonight. I need a whole week to stew and rage, or else I'm gonna kill that dwarf. I don't think Kratos has actually killed any dwarves. <laughs> I don't know, do dwarves exist in, uh, in Kratos' uh, uh, Greece? I don't remember seeing any. I remember seeing plenty of other, uh, uh, you know, humans and gods and various creatures, but uh, I don't remember seeing any dwarves. But then again, it has been many a year since I last played a God of War game. And I still have not played the, um, the PSP ones. Chains of Olympus and uh, Ghosts of Sparta, I think, was the other one. I think those are the two PSP ones. Those are the only ones that I haven't played. Should play them sometime. I like God of War. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't really be playing this game. Does Atreus even have a frame of reference for what a human can normally do, giant nerd guy says? Good question. It sounds like his mother is normal. I don't know. We still don't know who his mother is. Kratos said his mother was was immortal, a mortal, not immortal. But uh, I don't know how many people has Atreus actually met, other than his mother and Kratos, like before they set out on the adventure. Like, had, did they meet? Like, were they traveling merchants, or like? Like, did they go to town? Is there a town? I don't recall ever seeing a town. Except for that one that was destroyed, but that's more of a... Kind of a trapper... The hunter village. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Atreus, like... Before this adventure started, he only ever saw two other people. And, um... One of those people was a god who seemed to regularly chop down and then carry home an entire tree as like a regular thing. So maybe he that's maybe he thinks that all people can do that. Who knows? Yeah, he might think that it's normal. He might think that Kratos' extreme strength is normal. Maybe now he's realizing, that now that he knows that he's also a god, maybe he's realizing, oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe not everyone can do what my dad does. Maybe not. Anyway, that's it. We stop. We stop for tonight. We continue on next week. You know what I think, uh, you know what Lost Joke, I think that Kratos could beat up any dad. He literally, I mean, he literally beat up his own dad. Who was the, like, the king of all gods. Of all Greek gods. So, um, I'm pretty sure that Kratos can literally beat up any dad. And yeah, I, I have a feeling that eventually I might end up fighting the all dad. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it, I guess.
Bye.